fellow makeup fiends, I'm going to do a quick video uh, doing a little bit of a comparison of some tanning products that I've been using over the last couple of days uh, and I want to tell you what I think of both those products uh, particularly with reference to people who have fair skin or pale skin mine is very pale, I'm quite porcelain so I need something that's going to have a good effect on my skin so I'm going to start with this one which is L'Oreal Sublime Bronze this is a one day application, it's a tinted gel and it washes off and it says instant tan for body, so this is just for body only, not for face. I do have the L'Oreal Sublime Bronze Face Spray, um, that's actually very nice. Uh, this one, uh, I guess I'll start with the pros, uh, it's, it's really easy to put on and it works well into the skin. Um, and it's a nice concept that it's like you put it on and then you can wash it off at the end of the day so sometimes when fake tans go on as they start to fade they can look a bit patchy but this because it just goes on and comes off it's really handy and ideal and like it's just really non messy to put on because it doesn't get everywhere you just put it on your hands and put it on I have to say the cons are it does have a slight fake tan smell so it you can definitely smell that it is a tanning product um, also it stains your hands, that's my hand there, uh, it stains quite badly and you do need to wash it quite a few times and probably use a bit of exfoliator to get that off because it's a liquid formulation it does tend to sink in. That's what it looks like, it looks a bit scary when you first put it on but it's, it is quite nice to work with, it just works in quite well and I don't know if you're able to tell with the light here but that's the finish. Now for me it is quite nice but I feel that it comes off quite an orange tone but I think that's just because my skin is so pale and the smell is fake tan smell so um, if you're willing to put up with that kind of smell that's okay. It's not too bad and it's really, I can't remember how much this is, I actually found this when I was cleaning out my cupboards, I forgot that I had it. Um, I think it's quite reasonably priced, I think that these two products are probably pretty close in price. So that one's okay but it's orange toned, stains your hands and it has a self tan smell but it is easy to put on and has very little mess to it because it's a liquid you've got very much control about where it's going and where you don't want it to go. The other product is Soap and Glory's Glow Getter. This is an amazing product, it's a powder spray and this is for face and body comes in this. I don't know if it's this is full size because this came in a gift set that I got after Christmas in the sale from ASOS. Um, so basically you spray this on and it looks a bit scary but it's not really. You can see that. And then you just rub it in and that's it there. You should be able to see the difference there. Got a patch there. That's not where it was, that's a bruise. <laughs> So that's the brown colour. I do feel that this comes off more as a brown tone on my pale skin than an orange tone so that's a good thing. It does look more natural. If you want to check out what it looks like I've got it on my legs on my outfit of the night summer nights video and it looks you know it looks really good. It's got a matte finish. It's not got any kind of shininess. It's got an amazing smell. Soap and Glory products always have. It doesn't have a fake self tan smell so you don't get that. Uh, so this is definitely amazing, I would highly recommend this. It's easy to work in because it's a powder spray, you spray a section on and then just rub it in with your hands. And that's my hand, as you can tell there's a huge difference. This one is Soap and Glory and this one is L'Oreal. Because the other one is a liquid formulation it does sink into your skin more, whereas because this is a powder formulation you don't get much transfer on your hands because you're actually rubbing it in and it stays on where you're applying. And then if you do get this on your hands, you do obviously get a little, it actually washes off with one wash with soap and water because it's powder, it's not liquid soaking in your skin, it's just like sitting on top of your skin. Um, I found that it lasted fantastic, it was there all night, washed off really well, didn't leave any residue in the bath or cause any problems with sheets or towels. Um, the only thing about this one, the con about this one, is that it is messy when you put it on because you're spraying, obviously some of it is not going to completely hit your skin it might go past your body so I, I did it in the bathroom and so you could see the residue on the tiles where I'd stood 
but it came off really easy got a baby wipe it all wiped up didn't leave any kind of staining so that was very good and these at the moment are on three for two at boots so i'm probably going to go and invest in a couple of these because this is an amazing product and i would highly recommend it when i got it I actually got it in a set and it was on sale and i got this with it which is glow lotion and again amazing smell and i'll show you on my orange hand <laughs> That is what it looks like so it is a cream gold lotion and if you can see that it gives a lovely golden shimmer on your skin it is absolutely gorgeous I love it and the smells just divine and what I really got the set for was this bronzer solar powder so it's a two-toned bronzing powder the S and G were actually so pink glitter when I got them, but that went off in the first application. It's got a mirror in there, and it's just swirled together. Do you able to see that? It's just really nice. Um, it's a very natural bronze. It's, I feel that this is a very, very good bronzer for pe um, pale skin. It's not too dark, and it has a matte finish. So I would highly recommend that. I mean, this is twelve pound on its own. This is approximately the same and this is 10.50 so that was around 34 pounds worth of product and it came in this amazing box which is a hard box it's not just like a cardboard one and it's covered in this lovely padded surface and then it's lined as well so i got it really for the bronze and face powder solar powder and I got it for this because it's just lovely storage and I like storage things but um, I just tried this the other day and I was highly impressed so that is my little review comparison on two tanning products on the market at the moment these are wash off products this is not tanning that stays on your skin this is not gradual tanning and this is not you know like long term this will wash off so those are my temporary tanning products and my review of them I hope you've enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Subscribe if you enjoyed. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.